Hey, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to solve another integral using u substitution. Now, in this case, the integral, the integrand, I suppose, like the function that's being integrated, has, uh, it contains an exponential. So it's e to the power of something. Now, with these kind of problems, when we have e to the power of something, we want to set that something to be u, which is what we're going to use for our substitution. So we can write that over here. Let's say that we have, let's just define u as equal to negative 1 over x squared. So we can rewrite our uh, integral over here now with our substitution for u. So we're going to have e to the power of u over x to the power of 3 dx. Now we can't proceed because we have a dx here and we're trying to integrate something with a u. So we're going to have to figure out how to change this. And the way that we do that is we derive our expression for u in terms of x. Now, in order to do that, let's write this in a slightly nicer form. So another way that we could write this would be negative x to the power of negative 2. And now when we take du dx, um, basically we just bring down that negative 2, so that becomes positive 2 in the front, x, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent, so this becomes minus 3. And we could even rewrite this as well if we wanted. So we could have 2 over x to the power of 3. Now actually if we just write these side by side, so we have du over dx is equal to positive 2 over x to the power of 3. The next thing that we always want to do with u substitution is isolate the dx here. So basically we're going to have to bring the dx up, the 2 back down, and the x3 up there. And we can isolate for dx to be basically x cubed over 2 du. Now what we want to do is we have this expression for dx and it has some x's and du's in it, but we're going to put it in here in place of this dx. We're going to substitute that in. So when we do that, we have this integral of e to the u over x to the power of 3. And when we sub this in, we have this is times x to the 3 over 2 du. And now we can see we can cancel out this x to the power of 3, top and bottom. We can pull out that 2. It's a constant. So we have 1 over 2 times the integral of e to the u du. And now we have this in a pretty simple form. So if you have this memorized, the integral of e to the something, or e to the u du, or e to the x dx, then you can just go ahead and write the solution. But if you don't remember what it is, you can look at the table. And I have one here. There's a link in the description below where you can get this table. It's like a permanent link on the Engineer for Free website. And you can also print off the PDF if you want. Um, but we want to kind of scan through here until we see the integral that we're looking for, and it's right near the top actually, e, the integral of e to the x dx is just equal to e to the x plus c. Now this works if you substitute e to the u du, this would just be e to the u. So let's just bring that into our sheet, and maybe I'll just write it down here just as a reference, this in red, this is our table value, so we have the integral of e to the u du is just equal to e to the u plus c, and now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this whole thing, integral of e to the u du, just for its solution. So we can just write this as 1 over 2 times everything, which is e to the u plus c. But c is an arbitrary constant. We don't actually know what it is. And an arbitrary constant divided by 2 is just like an arbitrary number. And if you divide an arbitrary number by any other number, it's still an arbitrary number that we don't know. So we technically don't even need these brackets because that half, that 1 half multiplication will just get absorbed into that c. And ultimately, just we have 1 half e to the power of u plus c is the solution that we have so far. But we actually were given this whole problem in terms of x, and what we want to do is we want to give our answer in terms of x. So we just need to resubstitute back in what we had for u, which fortunately we have the expression right up here. So the final solution to our problem is just going to be equal to 1 half e to the u, and that was negative 1 over x squared plus c. And that is answer to our problem. You always want to make sure when you're doing these u substitution problems that you don't forget to go back into terms of x for the final solution because we defined u. You know, your professor or whoever gave you this problem, like they didn't define u, you did. And if you give them back the answer and something that you defined, it's kind of not what they're looking for. So just always remember to go back. Basically these are the steps. Just find u. In the case of an exponential, it's pretty much always going to be the exponent. Take the derivative of it, isolate for dx, throw it all in, perform the integral, and then re-swap back out. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Re-substitute u back in for that original function of x, which we already have, and then you're going to have your solution. So hopefully that was helpful, and I will see you in the next one.